Tell us that pattern. Have you noticed it yet? I know someone has. Here it is. He was covered with a forge. On the forge in front of Hana was some kind of machine. Where I sit to a helmet with a visor and an eye-shaped almost square box. So I see the next one instead of filling with a few things. See? I can test it myself, but it's a little hard because I'm the one who made it. I know I'm still supposed to work. I, I, have, ex I have expectations. Really? Expectations? Everything with this. So I don't know if it's actually working or if I'm manipulating them now. Plus, I can't evaluate the effects when I'm wearing it. Not sure if perception of time is whack or if again I'm messing up the. <coughs> Should be hearing this or I'll mess up your right through. Don't mind me. But what is this? Virtual reality machine. At least that's what I hope it is. But no questions. They're ruining your experience. VR is way too common these days. I've played one VR game. Unfortunately, I no longer have it. I swapped it for something more fun. Breath of the Wild. I have all these things I can swap stuff for. Such as the number of weapons in the machine began to hum at a dangerously high pitch. You're always seeing her worry glance, stats to chuckle. Don't worry, she's completely safe. I was like wearing it once. Um. Even Jared didn't notice. Did Jared or something? That is giving on a headache. Finally, he finished whatever he was doing. How the hell out to Hana? Do you really want me to do this? Please? Wouldn't you, Hana? Look at her. Eyes shining. It's the cutest thing she ever saw. She couldn't see all those dimples. Fine, hand it over. The procedure gallery? You've gotten two so far. From this, from this route alone. Hell is pretty heavy. How did Rogata solve something down? Well, the neck would be okay right for so long, but when it's overhead, she has to go across her back and ease the weight somewhat. She couldn't see anything inside the helmet, not even touch his room. Sweat started to build on the felt lining. Okay, we turn on now, alright? You should say so. In his excitement, Sasha could see and tell that she was at all apprehensive. She heard a snap, and then wires on her back started to vibrate. First of white blew through the helmet. So her whole busy and she was beat as she was rolled back down the hill in a barrel. I don't feel so good. Hang on, it's almost that was fading away as he was jogging down a long tunnel. Sash? This is station stop. Come? Pleat! First of all, towards on I raised his soul as if they were bouncing off the mountainside. In fact, she was by mountainside. She shivered, despite the washes around her. It was cold there. Something tickled her waves and she went down to the long shadows of grass, grazing her ankles. <laughs> They're kidding me. This is a game? Trouble resistance. But it's that? Surrounded by the wind. <coughs> so it is a turn. She felt herself being sucked down on something and shut her eyes tight. The station stopped, she opened them. She was in a pretty wet room. To right, there was a brown table. Two times a white one, which she wanted to be vanilla topped with white cream and a chocolate oozing fudge on the inside. She was almost there to take one. But which? You know, the walkthrough actually says that this matters, but it doesn't. First, I'm not a fan of it. Firstly, I don't have that big of a sweet tooth. I prefer pie over cake anyway. But if I had to pick one, it'd be the vanilla one. Cakes appeared in other places appeared here. Chrysanthemum and a cocoon. Such a would do, but the chrysanthemum had been plucked and cocoon hung on a small potted tree. No choice. Again, doesn't matter. The cocoon, but we'll take the cocoon. Rather than grab the cocoon, she had the boy plant it was hanging on. Who says ever? He cast the wet ball and shot off across the room. He had on the table as it pins around, loud as a firecracker. Suddenly, stop. I was on the table, a few inches from her toes. Open the pink pepper to that and unroll the stuff before her. A quest? You ever feel excited? She read it. Although you have a vast inner life, you can occasionally be quiet. You have moments where you realize just how much you don't know about the world. You are a loyal and trustworthy person, and try to protect those you care about. Still, you realize you and your loved ones are not the only ones on this planet. You will leave the world better than you find it, and that is no one and no vision. The more could use what people are here. If they open to your new beliefs, they might be the answer you seek. A fortune? 
This appears she was left in darkness. Or she feels her ears, and then she feels a fierce solid around her arms and smells cinnamon in the air. She's back at us now. The school smells like cinnamon? I feel like having cinnamon toast now, but that takes time to make. So, the Honda pulled the helmet off and gasped her. She felt like she was gone for days. It worked, it worked perfectly. She watched him dance around the room as she caught her breath. What? Thank you so much for your help, Hana. Now, come on. Let's wait. I'll walk you back to your room. What just happened? It was a test scenario. I had to run through it real quick, and it worked. I'm so happy. I still understand what he was talking about, but suddenly they were in front of her room. She had no idea how they got there, or wondering how fast. Was she really alright? I feel a bit weird for a while, but it'll go away in a few minutes. <laughs> Hope you're right. How do you hit her up? The clothes of the metal gets to the palm, see the palm touches together until it almost clicked in her mind. She felt much better. Oh, Hannah. Such had his hands pocket, looking at her casually. Too casually. You still pass him with the servant? The... Oh, that was involved in anymore. In that circumstances. Just nodded. Well, I think you should keep practicing. Really? Really? You think? You're being a little obstinate right now, but they'll come around. Trust me, they're great guys, and they're your friends. <laughs> Some friends. How's friends? Really? Didn't say anything, but you couldn't hold back a bitter chuckle. Can't believe you're feeling that way, but... <laughs> well, just keep practicing. Nothing else you can count on me. Hey, Sash. Totally forgot my speaker was off. I'm glad. I believe I can... Thank you. Just got the back of his neck. Anyway, sit up. See you later. I apologize for free to try to speak you on. I tore it off, so I don't. So when I, uh, so the videos don't overlap with what I'm actually trying to do, as I'm, as I let it render. So, uh, yeah. Night. Sasha left down the hallway and Han turned and now I'll be heading inside her room. Hey, I'm back. <coughs> ah. I was standing next to the door staring at her trying to read her face. Is something wrong? I heard what you were talking about. A small throw of anger shot through her before she remembered just how thin her drugs were. Of course she showed them. I see. She passed and set her bag on her desk waiting for what was coming next. My students what she should say. How does she think? If I was actually thinking about what she wanted to say, it had to be something serious. Sat on Hannah's bed, facing her in the rest of the room. It wasn't anywhere she was going to hide. Hannah was going to hide. Damn, she was good. I didn't know the chin was still on the table. Me there, actually, but Sat just to keep practicing. You must go? Hope, right? Trust him. I think it'll work out if he thinks it will. It's not what I was going to talk about. I know Satch's rival doesn't say things without thinking them through, so... It's not about whether you can trust him. I put a hand on her hip, suddenly impatient. Then what is it? Well, are you sure you still want to be in this room? I... Of course I do. I... was not treating you horribly. I know you're happy when you had the chance to join the club and make friends with them. Heck, I was happy for you. We were both excited. We truly thought they were or could be our friends. But they weren't. They aren't. Friends don't treat, don't, friends, don't treat friends like this. Is it worth all the effort fasting and preparing for the tournament? You sure you want to do it? It would just be for fun? Or for them? I... I say they are good people, or that you shouldn't if you want to. How do you think this through? I don't see people take advantage of my friends. People I care about. Take advantage? Were they? Take advantage of her? Of her? Of her? I... Okay. This one matters. You want to say I don't blame them for the way they reacted? I don't know. They were wrong. I enjoyed the game. That's not going to be the same message as I don't blame how they reacted. 
Would, would you act the same way? I would. It's not their fault they drew the conclusion they did. Probably not the same thing in their shoes. I've... I haven't had a pleasant past with people. Or people who I thought were my friends, so I understand why they were so upset. Wouldn't you want to be even more careful now? If this has happened before, I can tell what happened. What if you're making the same mistake? I don't want to tell Maya about her past. How worse than being friendless, she was betrayed by the few friends she thought she had. Maybe she had a point. Maybe she was doing the same thing again, opening herself to the same kind of hurt. Maybe she hadn't worked a lesson. But. No! I can't. I can't just get mad at them, even if they don't consider me their friend. They're friends to me. Friends make mistakes. Something's hurt you, I get mad. Doesn't mean we should, we should just drop them or leave them hanging. You would do that are called fair weather friends. Besides, I'm playing as a media instrument. I want to keep going. That's what you want. I'm not going to stop you. I don't like it, but... I guess. Thank goodness. Hey, we've watched over Hana. You says, Mike, you're the best. And you're a true friend. You can save me if I needed help. <coughs> Guessing quickly. Yes, the house, the working is my prepare for bed. Are you not going to sleep? No, I think I need to finish the paper. I'm going to get it all done tonight. I made a face for a second, and the house starts to stop. Did mine know what she was planning? <gasps> so, okay, what I need to know the and now her portions of goon buzz. I've stopped so many, I. Almost forgot what they were called. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. Thank goodness. Little step two, eh? Hello. My car her bunk under the covers. In no time, she was fast asleep. How do we, you wish to ensure she. she <laughs> My woman woke up, tapping a pencil at against her deck. He asked. She didn't what she was going to do. She said, anyone. Go down to the cafe. It was a big deal. If you did, if you went out after curfew at Job Corps, you were expelled on the spot. No questions asked. Not while you're out. Not why not why you're not why you're out wandering. Not why you're not why you're not in your room, not in your dorm room. Not why no questions asked. After curfew, you're expelled. Just on the spot. Because some building burned down, that wasn't anyone's fault. Of course, we all have to blame for it. There's no one up to it. Nothing in the dorm did it. Can't hardly anything that can create fire in to the dorm because you can't bring rocks or steel or anything like that. But your phone had a foot in steel in it, which I have had no people who actually managed to do that with their phone. Anyway, that's not here nor there. Okay, that was a bold lie. If I got caught, she would be in serious trouble, but that didn't matter. So I was spending every day in that library in the Norbo's club trying to clear their names. There wasn't much I could help them there, but surely no one would mind if she stayed there sleeping on, on her own. When she finally showed up sleep, she slipped out of the room. Luckily, she didn't anyone on her way out of the dormitory. No one was supposed to be out past nine. So it's a bit surprised, but no one was roaming the hallways either. She in the cold in the air and took a deep breath. A slight wind blew through the campus, raising goosebumps against her skin. She turned head to her poppy hall. There's no way she'd be letting the club during the day, but at night. The night across the walkways, there wasn't a single cell around her, hardly any light. She was supposed to be out of a jar, the lamp was a few far in between. She was attacked, no one would notice. She her head, she sped up, and every time she ate pop to poppy hall. Tripped into the hallway. Oh, a crying party. That's what the poster says. Oh, that's what it's about, okay. As the sounds of couples of tabulating and suddenly, Han was seized with the fear or she never experienced the other day. So quiet, so still, so empty, and now? She just said people thought the bandits were haunted. They were creepy as hell. This is true. 
Here's the corner past the house that was the back of the building. An elbow's club room should be right here. Crap, no. It's locked. It's too stupid. Of course it would be locked. It's tough that people steal. Of course you should lock it. Now what? Must talk about empty handed? Subhanallah, she should prepare for this. She knows it isn't in her stuff. Footsteps. Someone was coming. Daddy, these Rogers are for time, but it was in the middle hallway with nothing but lock of the windows. She is trapped. Pretty she closed her eyes. Footsteps came closer. Closer. Inside in front of her. No say anything. Hands in she opened her eyes. Hey, let's try someone? Good passed her to the classroom door. Did you forget something? I yes, left a math book inside. He only pulled out a giant ring of keys and the fish of his wrist he meant in motion for her side. Hi, he unlocked the door. He pulled the door open and gestured her inside. Hurry up, please. Decided to ask. She scurried inside. I was about the same as she remembered. She could peek around, but now, now that Mr. Tunnel was here, she decided better not to. She said there was one place she could look. She back in the room where the large metal closet rested. Please don't be locked. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. She held her open and looked at the top of her dad's few boxes with his hand. Is that a skull? And a crystal, and a crystal ball? Never mind. That was another route. Though there are boots, once the door was empty shelf. She sighed. She was about to leave as he had it when she received the math book. She came out of the locker. She pulled a random book out of the closet. Their box is okay and handy. She tried to close the drawer when I she noticed something. The dent of the ball in the closet sounded where the boots once stood. But it's made of metal. Was that there before? She knew and ran her hand across the dent. Something heavy must have fallen into it and me. On this large, something heavy angled, something hard to carry. The boots. Now that she thought that the boots were made of solid gold, of course they would be heavy. Heavy, unwieldy, and hard to carry. Then they could have taken them far, that was sure. They didn't have access to the club room in the day, unless they got it the, on the way Han just did. Unless it's only themselves. But they went to done at night, and then, the way they could carry the boots all the way without getting tired of the cat. Which meant, they were still in Puppy Hall? Miss, are you finished? Er, yes, sorry, I'm coming. Tied the book under her arm, she closed the door and headed out of the classroom. So she chaperoned her all the way to the people's house in stiff, insulated eyes. As I want, how I ask him why he was one house night and why he let her off and why he always wore that brown suit. He goes to the suicide rumpled and there was a red ascot stuffed in one of the pockets. She looked at the his face. He saw some, looked some flushed. He been on a date. At his age? Can I put this right, actually? He's no tail. I won't either. There's a book in Hannah's hand. She would tell us to see Dungeons and Dragons manual. What? I won't tell if you don't. Where's Pink's was up? Then turn us here and have Whose book was this? Well, I just got to back to her room where she was inside began to paint. I do know whose it is, but uh, I should say. Thankfully, I was able to sneak back in, hide the book, and pop into bed for my so much mood and muscle. Great. Now she really was a thief. I think I'll stop it here and we'll pick it up next time. Huh. Oh, it is suspicious.